हेलो एवरी वन साई राम हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर इलेवन लाइट साउंड एंड फोर्स ओके एंड दिस इज पार्ट फाइव इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टॉपिक लाइट ओके एंड साउंड so today we are going to discuss about the topic motion force work and energy okay so children now imagine you are playing in a playground think of all the things around you that can move there is a seesaw goes up and down right there is a swing goes back and forth the merry go round goes round and round in circle right so there are many ways in which the things moves okay everything we just describe is a type of motion okay the motion means what so children motion is movement from one place to another okay when a seesaw is still here you imagine you and your friend is sitting on the seesaw okay when a seesaw is still and when you sit on it it begins to move right it begins to have motion so children here one seat goes up and other seat goes down okay now you and your friend change the position suppose you and your friend change the position okay now here what will happen again the same now you, you uh, your friend will go up that time you will go down right so children changing the position means what the position means the position is the place where you are sitting or stand, standing and if you are changing the position it means you are moving from one place to another place okay yes now here two boys are sitting on the swing okay here the swing goes back and forth right goes up and down so swing is in motion okay suppose you are sitting on a merry go round and you will be going round and round in a circle right so there there are different speeds of motion here we can say there are different speeds of motion a speed means what yes speed is how fast you move that is called uh, speed now some things are moving but some things are still okay still so how we get them in motion tell me what makes some things move yes now here is a example of toy car okay now think about a toy car or toy truck suppose it is kept in front of you how could you get it to move tell me yes you might use your hand or foot to push it away or to pull towards you right or you might hit it by using another object like bat or ball or whatever is there in your hand so you will use that to move this toy truck or toy toy car right so there are many ways to get the things moves okay so children we need to know that nothing can move unless some 
force is applied on it okay so children motion is a movement from one place to another nothing can move unless some force applied on it and force is neither pushed or pull okay now suppose you are running in the garden or uh, sometimes you walk or you run right or you or uh, suppose if you are moving any chair that is called the motion okay the trees also moves when the wind and the uh, air pushes the trees right so children we can run if we apply force that is if, uh, that is if we push ourselves forward okay so children when we run or when we walk that time we apply force on our body to push ourselves forward okay we can move a chair either by applying force to push it or by applying force to pull it right na yes so children what is the meaning of push push means it can cause movement away from the uh, one pushing it and the meaning of pull is it can cause a movement towards the one who pulling it okay you can try this with the different examples okay so children a pull or push is a force okay so here two examples are given now lift a book you can try this at home okay lift a book now tell me why does it move yes it moves because you pulled the book towards you okay now open a window why does it move tell me yes it moves because you pushed it away from yourself okay so children a pull or push is a force now let's see one more example of it here the closing the uh, one boy is closing the door of a refrigerator right which force can close the door of refrigerator tell me yes we push the door of refrigerator to close it okay so here we push the door yes then again one boy is opening the door of a refrigerator right so tell me children here which force is applied which force can open the door of refri a refrigerator yes we will pull the door to open it right that boy pull the door to open the open it or open the door right now so pull or push is a force so children force can move things if something is heavy you use more force to move heavy things and you use less force to move light things okay so children when you move something you do some work your muscles need energy to do work and work is done only if some force is applied but to exert force we need energy see again i am repeating this okay this is the relation between work force and energy when you move something you do some work right your muscles need energy to do work and work is done only if some force is applied okay but to exert force we need energy for example if you want to go uh, go up by using stairs you need energy to apply force and climb to climb up the stairs right let's see one more example of it suppose if you want to ride a bicycle you need energy right 
यू नीड एनर्जी टू अप्लाई फोर्स ऑन द पैडल राइट द चिल्ड्रन वी अप्लाई मोर फोर्स ऑन द पैडल टू रन अ बाइसिकल राइट ना सो चिल्ड्रन वी कैन से दैट द एनर्जी इज द कैपेसिटी टू डू वर्क ओके एनर्जी इज द कैपेसिटी टू डू वर्क अ टॉर्च गेट्स एनर्जी फ्रॉम द बैटरी ओके वेन द लाइट ऑफ द टॉर्च गोज वीक वेन इट यूजेस ऑल द एनर्जी स्टोर इन इट राइट Yes, we can take one more example of it. A toy car gets energy from batteries. Okay, battery stores the energy, and when we use that battery in a toy car or in a torch, its toy car gets run. A battery operated toy car get energy from the batteries. ओके यस देन अ कार गेट्स एनर्जी टू रन रन फ्रॉम पेट्रोल एंड फ्रॉम डीजेल ओके अ कार और एनी व्हीकल गेट एनर्जी टू रन फ्रॉम पेट्रोल और फ्रॉम डीजेल ओके ऑल द लिविंग थिंग्स नीड प्रॉपर फूड टू ऑप्टेन एनर्जी to carry out the various activities right so children i hope you understand this go through the lesson okay thank you and have a nice day